Joe Rogan's public misrepresentation of a 2015 vaccine study has gone viral. His misunderstanding of the study leads Rogan to wrongly conclude that vaccinating people against COVID-19 will increase the chances of some hyper-virulent mutation. You can watch the video below. But before you do, the lead scientist and author of the study who spent 10 years conducting this research has something to say. Because he's horrified. Joe Rogan is getting this completely wrong, says Andrew Reed, professor of biology and entomology at Pennsylvania State. He's taking very careful work about evolutionary scenarios of the future, and from that, erroneously concluding that people should not be vaccinated now. Rogan quotes a line from the paper's abstract out of context. Vaccines that keep hosts alive but still allow transmission could thus allow very virulent strains to circulate in a population. Reed responds, we're talking a very different virus and very different vaccines. The details in biology really matter a lot. The chicken vaccines we worked with, the first generation vaccine, definitely reduced disease, severity and death. But unlike the COVID mRNA vaccines, the chicken vaccine didn't stop transmission at all. And this is one of the key differences between what was being studied in Reed's paper and our current situation with the global pandemic. Those vaccinated chickens just kept churning out the virus for weeks and weeks and weeks. Again, this is a key difference. It's a very different virus from SARS-2. A key issue here is transmissibility. More transmission increases the likelihood of mutation. Thankfully, COVID-19 vaccines reduce transmission and reduce opportunity for mutation. Think about what's happening with evolution, offers Reed. Mutations can occur anytime the virus replicates. So the more replication, the more variants are generated. At the moment, the vast majority of the replication is happening in unvaccinated people. You can tell that because the majority of cases in the hospital are unvaccinated individuals. That is where the evolutionary action is happening at the moment. Let's get super clear about this. Are variants occurring in vaccinated or unvaccinated people? Evolution, at the moment, is all happening in the unvaccinated. That's where the majority of cases are. That's the majority of transmission. Every time a virus replicates, it can mutate. So the evolution is, right now, occurring in the body of people who are not vaccinated. Rogan is completely wrong trying to deduce anything else. The Delta variant emerged from populations who lacked access to vaccines. Delta came in India where there was crazy amounts of transmission, not amongst the vaccinated, but amongst the unvaccinated. That's what we need to stop. The unvaccinated need to either get vaccinated or socially distance, mask up, stopping transmission. That's the trick here.